problem uh, 1.6 from the textbook. And basically, uh, we want to consider this chemical reaction uh, forming uh, zirconia, uh, beta zirconia, at uh, 1,600 K. And we want to calculate the uh, change in enthalpy and entropy uh, for this reaction to occur. So this is uh, going to be a fairly straightforward calculation, although a little bit lengthy. And there's a few, few tricks along the way. So uh, let's start out with the enthalpy. So delta H, 1600, is equal to the uh, enthalpy of the products beta at 1600 minus the enthalpy of the reagents. Okay, let's do the uh, uh, product first. And when you uh, look in your textbook, something that you should notice is that For ZRO2, they give both an alpha and a beta phase. This is the uh, heat capacities. And then they give the temperature range over which they're valid. So alpha is valid from 298 to 1478, and beta from 1478 to uh, close to 3000, the melting temperature. Also, if we look at the table on the molar heat of transformation, for ZR02, ZR there's a transformation from alpha to beta at 1478 that's given. Uh, so that means that we actually have to take our uh, reaction and, and put it through a, a, a phase transformation. So. H Z R O two beta sixteen hundred is equal to delta H a formation of Z R O two and this is going to be alpha phase because alpha phase is the low temperature phase plus the integral from two 98 to the transformation temperature, which is 1478, the heat capacity of ZRO2 alpha dt plus delta H, a transformation going from alpha to beta, plus the integral from the transformation temperature, 1478, 1600 of the isobaric uh, heat capacity, ZRO2 2, 2 beta dt. Okay, so from the table in your book, we have the uh, heat of formation at 298 for alpha ZRO2, and that is minus 1.1 times 10 to the 6 joule per mole. 
And from the table on uh, enthalpies of transformation, we have uh, the latent heat going from alpha to beta as 5.9 times 10 to the 3 joule per mole. So now we just need to figure out these two integrals. This first integral is the integral from 298 to 1478 of the heat capacity, which looking this up from the table in the book is 69.6 Six two plus seven point five three times ten to the minus three T minus fourteen point zero six times ten to the positive five raise the T to the minus two DT. And integrating this, we get 8.63 times 10 to the 4 joule per mole. So that's going to go into there. And the second integral is the integral from 1478 to 1600. And the heat capacity is seven point whoops is seventy four point four eight DT, which gives us nine point zero nine times ten to the three joule per mole, which goes into that integral which means that HZRO2 beta at 1600 is minus 1.1 times 10 to the 6 plus 8.63 times 10 to the 4 plus 5.9 times 10 to the 3 plus 9.09 .09 times 10 to the 3 or HZRO2 beta 1600 is equal to negative 9.99 times 10 to the 5 joule per mole. I'll do this out to 3 sig figs. Okay. So now we have to do the enthalpy of zirconium and oxygen. And uh, looking in your textbook again, we have another transformation. In this case, zirconium transforms from the low temperature alpha phase to the beta phase at 1136. So, Writing out our enthalpy, we get HZR1600 is equal to delta H formation ZR alpha at 298 plus the integral from 298 
to 1136, the transformation temperature. And the heat capacity of the alpha phase, dt, plus delta H of transformation, alpha to beta, plus the integral from 1136 to 1600 K, CP, the beta phase, dt. Okay, zirconium is an element, and at standard temperature and pressure, the alpha phase is the ground state, or the uh, uh, naturally occurring state. So we've defined that to be zero. The textbook gives us the enthalpy of transformation. It's 3.90 times 10 to the 3 joule per mole. That's first integral is the integral from 298 to 1136 and the heat capacity of the alpha phase is 22.84 plus 8.95 times 10 to the minus 3 T minus 0 0.67 times 10 to the 5 t to the minus 2 dt, which is equal to 2.44 times 10 to the 4 joule per mole. And then the second integral is the integral from 1136 1600 of 21.51 plus 6.57 times 10 to the minus 3 T minus, sorry, plus 36.69 times 10 to the 5 t to the minus 2 dt, and integrating this, we get 1.51 times 10 to the 4 joule per mole. So HZR 1600 is equal to 2.44 times 10 to the 4 plus 3.9 times 10 to the 3 plus 1.51 times 10 times 10 to the 4 H Z R 1600 is equal to 4.34 times 10 to the 4 joule per mole. Okay, now we need to do oxygen. oxygen. Uh, there's no phase transition, so this one has a considerably fewer steps. HO2 at 1600 is equal to delta H formation of O2 at 298 plus integral from 298 to 1600 CP of O2 dt. Again, 
oxygen is elemental. Uh, and at 298, it's in gas phase. So this we defined as zero joule per mole. Then the integral becomes Integral becomes 29.96 plus 4.18 times 10 to the minus 3 t minus 1.67 times 10 to the 5 t to the minus 2 dt is equal to 4.37 times 10 to the 4 joule per mole. So H O2 is 1600 is equal to 4.37 times 10 to the 4 joule per mole. Which means that we can now write delta H at 1600, or let's, uh, yeah, delta H of 1600 is equal to H ZR O2 beta 1600 minus H ZR 1600 plus H O2 1600 is equal to negative 9.99 times 10 to the 5 minus 4.34 4 times 10 to the 4 plus 4.37 times 10 to the 4 delta H 1600 is equal to minus 1.09 times 10 to the 6 joule per mole. Okay, that's half of our problem. Now we need to look at the entropy. So the entropy, delta S, 1600, page three, page here, page four, it's page four, is equal to SZR02 beta, that's 1600, minus SZR, 1600 plus S O2, 1600. Okay, doing the products first, or the product. Um, S ZR O2 beta, 1600 is equal to delta S, the formation of ZR O2 alpha phase at 298 plus the integral from 298 to 1478 isobaric heat capacity of the alpha phase divided by T dt plus now the we need the, the change in entropy that occurs for the transformation and the change of entropy is going to be given by delta H alpha to beta divided by the temperature of transformation, which is 1478 plus integral from 1478 to 1600 CP of the beta phase over T dt. Okay, we can find this 
and that is 5.04 times 10 to the 1 joule per K mole. This is 5,500 divided by 1478, which is equal to 3.99 joule per mole K. The first integral is the integral of 298 to 1478 of t to the minus 1 times 69.62 plus 7.53 times 10 to the minus 3 t minus 14.06 times 10 to the plus 5 t to the minus 2 dt or 1.13 times 10 to the 2 joule per mole k. And then the second integral is the integral from 1478 to 1600 um, t to the minus 1 times 74.48 dt is equal to 5.91 joule per mole K. Okay, that means that for our product, SZRO2 beta at 1600 is equal to 5.0 4 times 10 to the 1 plus 1 1.13 times 10 to the 2 plus 3.99 or SZR O2 beta at 1600 is equal to 1.73 times 10 to the 2 joule per mole K. Okay. Now going to the uh, reagents. Let's do the easy one first. We'll do oxygen. S of O2 at 1600 is equal to delta S of formation of O2 <clears throat> at 298 plus integral from 298 to 1600 T to the minus 1 CP O2 dt. From the table in the book, this is 2.05 times 10 to the 2 joule per mole k. And the integral is the integral from 298 1600 t to the minus 1 times 29.96 plus 
plus 4.18 times 10 to the minus 3 t minus 1.67 times 10 to the 5 t to the minus 2 dt is equal to 5.49 times 10 to the 1 joule per mole K, which gives us the net SO2 1600 is equal to 2.05 times 10 to the 2 plus 5.49 times 10 to the 1 SO2 is 1600 is equal to 2.60 times 10 to the 2 joule per mole K. Okay, and now last step is to get zirconium. So, S of ZR 1600 is equal to delta S formation of ZR alpha phase at 298 plus the integral 298 to transformation temperature 1136 of CP alpha phase over T dt plus delta H alpha to beta divided by 1136. So that's the change in entropy with transformation from alpha to beta plus the integral this is page uh, 5 of uh, CP beta over T dt from 1136 to 1600. Zero, zero. Okay, this we find to be 3.90 times 10 to the 1 joule per mole K. That is 3900 zero, zero divided by 1136, which is equal to 3.43 joule per mole K. The first integral is the integral 298 to 1136 T to the minus 1 of 22.84 plus 8.95 times 10 to the minus 3 T minus 0 0.67 times 10 to the 5 T to the minus 2 DT. Completing the integral, we get 37.713, that's a joule per mole K. Now the second integral, that is the integral from 1136 to 1600, T to the minus one, 21.51 plus 6.57 times 10 to the minus 3 T plus 36.69 times 10 to the plus 5 T to the minus 2 DT and completing that integral we get 
11.120 joule per mole K. Which means S of ZR Conium at 1600 is equal to 3.90 times 10 to the 1 plus 3.77 times 10 to the 1 plus uh, 3.43 plus 1.11 times 10 to the 1 S ZR 1600 is equal to 9.12 times 10 to 1 joule per mole K. Okay, almost there. Now we're going to put this all together to get uh, delta S. 1600 is equal to S of ZR O2 beta 1600 minus the entropy of zirconium 1600 plus the entropy of oxygen gas at 1600, which is 1.73 times 10 to the 2 minus 9.12 times 10 to the 1 plus 2.60 times 10 to the 2 or delta S at 1600 is equal to 1.78 times 10 the two joule per mole K. And that is solving problem 6.1. Uh, to say, it's steps you really through how to think about the basic steps. Uh, not a particularly uh, riveting problem to work on, but uh, it is a pretty good example of, of how, how to work with these types of uh, concepts.